ever just free your hair and be like, ah, oh, this feels so good. Um, so today is wash day. Yes, child, because waking up at 6 a.m., working out, then going to teach yoga, it's a lot on me, especially this hair. And I've been like really busy, so I haven't really given my curls a lot of TLC. Um, so let's see what this mess is on top of my head. And I'll show you some products and we are going to get started. So, first things first, let's see what's going on. Gym hair, don't care, y'all, right? No, we definitely do care about the curls. Um, okay, so my hair is damp. I look crazy. Um, maybe I got a little Basquiat, you know, free-flowing locks growing in here. Um, but yeah, so my hair looks gross. Um, at least it's soft. It's still damp. Like, come on, guys. Does anyone else feel my sympathy? Like it just takes so long for the hair to dry and then you slip it up, slick it up in a messy bun and it's just crazy. All right, so today, Molly Moisture. Never tried it, walked past it. Um, and it seemed pretty cool, reasonably priced and it seemed pretty healthy. So we're gonna give this a try. All right, let's go through the products. Step one, two, and three. All right, so first things first, shampoo and conditioner. So typically people love to like matchy matchy, but like that's just not my style. I don't match my hair products, my clothes, you know, whatever. I just like my own style. So I have colored hair, obviously. So I did the Color Protection Sea Minerals. It smells like a mermaid's heaven. You guys, it smells so good for color treated hair. Yas. All right, you guys see this curl? Like, hi, I want to be noticed. All right, um, and then the Curl Quench and Coconut Oil Conditioner for thick and curly hair. I think I got that. What y'all think? Yeah, okay. Um, this smells really good too. I'm sorry, like I'm an island girl. Anything coconut, everything, like just bring it on in. Coconut oil, cut the coconut off the tree, slice it open, stick a straw in it, sip it as in rum only if you're over 21 though all right this smells really amazing guys um this is good and then also i decided to try this detoxifying and volcanic ash for dull and congested hair i don't know um seems like it would be cool let's take a smell see what it smells like it smells like it's very earthy and like blissful what is this zesty ginger extract Maybe that's what I'm saying. It's like kind of hard. You see, it's like. Doo, 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 doo. All right. Uh, uh, first shampoo. We're going to do this first. Then this says in shower moisturizer. Um, so I'm going to wash my hair, put this on for five minutes, um, sing a few Beyonce songs, um, then rinse it out. And then I'm going to use the conditioner. I don't know if this is too much over moisturizing. Um, but we're gonna find out and see how my hair comes out. And then I will show you guys some styling products that I'll be using that is not Molly Moisture, but some things that have been on my heart that I've been wanting to try out for a little while. So let's get clean, guys. Bye. <laughs> Acuesto temprano, mañana hay que estudiar eh. Pero llamo a la amiga diciendo pa' janguear eh. Tiene un culito ahí que la acabo de testear eh. Pero en bajita, ella no es de frontear Ella es calladita Ella 
no era así, no sé quién la daño. Ella no era así, ella no era así, no sé quién la daño, pero ahora en Si es contigo mejor Si hay sol hay playa Si hay playa y alcohol Si hay alcohol hay sexo Si es contigo mejor Quítate la ropa que hace calor Días de playa, noches de terror En la gaveta de vuelta mar Pa' la envidiosa, pa' si amar Si es contigo mejor Si hay sol hay playa Si hay playa y alcohol Si hay alcohol hay sexo Si es contigo mejor Quítate la ropa que hace calor Días de playa, noches de terror En la gaveta de vuelta al mar Pa' la envidiosa, pa' si amar So I always just take like a t-shirt or a um, instead of a towel to help lock in the moisture. Um, so my hair smells amazing. I smell like a coconut mermaid. Um, but most importantly, my hair feels really hydrated. But this shampoo, I did two washes obviously because I had a lot of buildup. Um, and the second time it lathered a lot more. Um, so that's how I know like my hair was getting clean. But it didn't like over dry my hair, but it didn't over saturate my hair too, which is really good because I noticed like sometimes a lot of products they can tend to be very greasy. Um, so right now I'm gonna um part my hair out again. Um, obviously I love to comb my hair in the shower because that just makes my curls like have such a flourishing effect. Okay, so um, I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna comb my hair out.
Now when I comb it in the shower and then finger comb it with the conditioner in, um, that just like helps to minimize how much I have to comb my hair outside of the shower as well. Um, but if I'm not doing a deep conditioning treatment, then I always use my big wide tooth comb. That thing is like a godsend. Um, and here's like my natural like raggedy part, I guess, or whatever. Um, so the first product is going to be the Scalp Relief Tea Tree Leave-In Oil. I mean, Leave-In Spray. Um, I found this at TJ Maxx. It was only like seven bucks. Um, it smells really good. Um, I love tea tree oil and it helps like make my scalp feel like tingly and helps to stimulate growth. So I'm just going to spray this in a bunch. Um, I'm lifting my hair so I can get to like the roots because my hair is pretty thick even though it doesn't really look like it when it's wet. Um, so don't forget your edges ladies. Don't forget your edges. Okay. Um, And your ends are important too because they're the oldest part of your hair. Whew, that's a strong smell. All right, so let's just brush that through. Um, it added some moisturizing a little bit. So the second product I'm gonna put in is this Garnier Fructis um, Curl Nourish Cream. Um, I have a love-hate relationship with Garnier Fruit Teas just because like their products have um, alcohol in them so they're not the best for our hair but I figure like if I'm doing like extra hydration and stuff with like other products like the Molly Moisture line like maybe I can give this a try so we'll see what happens. Um, the scalp is um, tingling right now so the scalp relief tea tree feels like the pores of my scalp are open guys. It feels like I'm literally getting a head massage right now. And this is what the bottle looks like. Not to flip flop between products, but if you really need this. And don't mind the background noise, I'm doing laundry. So here's a good healthy amount. Um, and then I like to start with my ends, just cause of the oldest part and then work my way up. Kind of like the finger combing. And I also wanna make sure like I get a few spots like here it's like the middle part of my hair where it tends to be a little bit more dry um on the other side that's definitely my nappy spot um so it definitely requires extra this smells really good actually it has like a tropical melony scent um it feels a little bit thicker than the other one that i used to use the original garnier fruit teas um but this one's called a buttercream so perhaps that's why um so we're just gonna finger comb it in. I'm sorry that I closed my eyes. <sighs> Give myself my own scalp massage with this tea tree oil leave-in spray. And as you can see, like my curls are starting to be like defined already. Um, let's go ahead and scrunch them. If you don't hear that juicy scrunch, then like to me, I feel like I always need more product. Even though my hair takes a long time to dry, like I just don't want it to be like over dried. Um, and I'm just gonna add a little bit more to the middle of my hair, which I tend to like neglect sometimes. It's kind of like my nappy spot, like right in here. It's like the middle, middle of my head. Um, I also like to just comb it through. I know it's kind of counterproductive to the scrunching, but it's definitely a habit. Um, that way I make sure like all parts of my hair gets some. Then I'll just shake my roots out. Scrunch it one more time for the road. And then I will let it air dry. So this is my routine for today's wash day. And hopefully I will show you guys my results soon when this is done air drying. All right. 
Hey guys, Fab Nerd, quick update, Garnier Fructis Buttercream, love it. Um, so this is day two curls. Do you see that definition? Like boing, boing, boing. All right, so this product is great. I do love it because one, it makes my curls super defined and secondly, it definitely gives me the nice like voluminous like curls that I love and it doesn't weigh my hair down, which is kind of hard to give moisture without weighing it down. So check and check. Also, um, when I had this product in for about three or four days, you know, day three, four curls can look a little shabby. All I had to do was re-wet my hair and then comb it with the wide tooth comb and then like scrunch it again. And like that was it. I didn't even have to add additional products. So that little $5 jar definitely is going a long way. So just want to share the great news. Um, please click the link to subscribe and like this post. And also, if you know any other products that you want me to give a try, I'm down for the cause, honey buns. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Talk to you soon. Bye.